Good evening once again. A group of lay Catholics says that the Diocese of Buffalo is in dire need of reform, and the people in the pews want a seat at the table and changes from the bishop. Tonight, our I-Team chief investigator, Charlie Speck, is on the story. Some deep feelings of frustration and anger betrayal. John Hurley knows how Catholics are feeling since the sex abuse scandal has torn apart the Diocese of Buffalo. We inherit now a situation where Catholics across the diocese are asking themselves, should I leave the church or not? We're seeing uh, attendance at mass plummeting. We're seeing collections in parishes plummeting. So it's clear that the laity is speaking in the way that they know how. They're withdrawing. So Hurley started the Movement to Restore Trust, a grassroots effort of both regular and influential Catholics who are disgusted by the way diocesan leaders have handled decades of abuse. I'm not sure that we know the full extent, but from what I've seen so far, it's, uh, it, 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 it's not a passing grade to be sure, <laughs> you know, and that's probably putting it mildly. Their new report calls for bold changes in how the diocese operates, everything from an equal partnership among priests and lay people to more transparency about past and current instances of sex abuse, new structures for bishop accountability, and an overhaul of what it calls the outdated and secretive management practices of the diocese. But as your reporting has shown in the last several months, the current bishop bears some responsibility for it. I think uh, it's true that he inherited some of these things, but he certainly didn't make them better. He realizes it's a bit awkward for many Catholics to be led by a bishop they do not support, but one who refuses to resign. But if the bishop is going to remain in place, we have a choice. We either say, well, we're going we're gonna to wait, we're going to just wait him out, and in a couple of years down the road, we'll deal with a new bishop. Um, as I play that one out, I'm not sure the church and the diocese will survive if we do nothing for a couple of years. Yeah. It's, it's, that, it's that dire. Hurley says the solution is for regular Catholics to demand a seat at the table, heading finance committees and even filling out performance reviews of the bishop. We have a situation where trust has been broken, and we've made this abundantly clear to the bishop. He knew it, but I mean, we reinforced it again in no uncertain terms. Other recommendations include relocating Christ the King Seminary to a more urban setting and relying less on church lawyers in the sex abuse process. Nearly all of the ideas would require men of the cloth to give up some of the power and autonomy they have held for centuries. But I've gotten so many emails and so many uh, reinforcing messages from priests saying, this is the only way it's going to happen, is if the laity steps up and does this. And like so many other Catholics, they're looking for a path forward. I refuse to let the institutional church get in the way of my relationship with God. And that's what drives this. Now, in response, the bishop's spokeswoman releases a statement saying the Diocese of Buffalo has agreed to partner with the Movement to Restore Trust and the Leadership Roundtable to move forward to restore trust. Bishop Malone has had two meetings, both candid and respectful, with the group, and the bishop is hopeful that they can make progress together. We'll keep you posted. For the I-Team, Charlie Speck, 7 Eyewitness News.